Hi again. So this is the part two of this course, all electronic component names, pictures, and symbols. So the last component that we have seen in the first part is the short key diode. And we have seen that the short key diode can be a two terminals diode, three terminals, or even four terminals. Basically, this is the symbol. We have the anode and the cathode, and also it could be the three terminals, as you can see, like this one with this symbol. Two diodes connected together in their cathode, as you can see here. Or here so let's see the next component so basically the next component is the TVS diode this is another type of diode as you can see here so it could be of course a two terminal diode or three terminals diode here we have the symbol as you can see it could be this symbol or this symbol Next, we have the crystal oscillator, as you can see here. So this is basically the symbol for the crystal oscillator. So it could be like this, or as you can see here in the motherboard. So let's check if we can find any crystal oscillator here. So let's check basically, as you can see over here, we have crystal oscillator. It's reference it could be Y, as we have here, or X, okay? So this is here, crystal oscillator, and over here also we have crystal oscillator, but it is not connected. As you can see, we have X2, and here we have, as you can see, Y1. So this is the crystal oscillator. Without the crystal oscillator, the motherboard cannot work properly. Next, we have, as you can see here, the 8P MOSFET. As you can see, this is basically the MOSFET with eight terminals, as you can see. You will find always three terminals for source, okay? So the first three terminals are for source, okay? Then the fourth one is the gate, as you can see here, and other pairs are for drain, okay? So four terminals for drain, three for source and one for gate. Basically, the MOSFET receives the control signals here in the gate. When it receives the control signal, the signal or the voltage will pass, as you can see, through this diode, from source to drain or from drain to source, depending on the type of the diode or of the MOSFET. Is it N-channel MOSFET or p-channel MOSFETs. So here, as you can see in the motherboard, this is basically a MOSFET. We have already seen the MOSFETs in the previous part. We have seen that for MOSFETs, you will find the reference is Q or PQ. And for IC, we have U. So this component here is not a MOSFET. This is IC. Why? Because we have U. But for this one, this is MOSFET. So we have Q. If we go here also, we have U means this is IC. This one also we have here U3 means this is IC. Next, we have the TREAC, as you can see here. So this is basically the TREAC. So this is the symbol for TREAC, as you can see. It has two anodes, as you can see here. Then we have the transformer. Basically, this is a component that we find in the board, in the switch mode, power supply boards. Okay, as you can see, the transformer basically contains of two stages or two parts. The primary part, we where we have the first winding or inductor and the secondary part when we have the second inductor. So basically the purpose of the MOSFET is to, to transform the energy from this side to this side. Then here, as you can see, we have the motor. This is basically the motor here. We have the symbol for motor. It could be this symbol or this symbol. So basically the motor contains two major parts, a stator, and a rotor okay so this part basically this is a stator and this is a rotor this one also is a rotor 
Then we have the bridge rectifier, or we called it just rectifier. It could be four diodes like this one, or just one diode or two diodes. So this is basically the bridge rectifier. It has four terminals, the positive terminal, the negative terminal, and two other terminals. We called it AC terminal. So basically the positive terminal is here. The positive terminal is the terminal that is connected to anode of two diodes. The negative terminal is here, as you can see. It is connected to, to two cathodes of these two anodes and connected to an electrolytic capacitor. And the AC is here and here. Okay? Next, we have the relay. As you can see, this is basically the relay. The relay contains always an inductor and a switch. You see? Inductor and switch. When this inductor is energized, when the current passes through this inductor, it will pull up the switch and the switch will be closed and then the voltage will pass from one side to another side. Then we have, as you can see, the potentiometer. As you can see here, basically the potentiometer is, as you can see, a variable resistor component that we can use to adjust the resistance, okay? This is basically its symbol. It could be this one or this one, but this is the frequently used symbol. Then we have the ceramic capacitor, as you can see here, this is the symbol for ceramic capacitor. It could be, as you can see here, true whole ceramic capacitor, also this kind of capacitor, as you can see. This is basically ceramic capacitors, or we call it sometimes PF capacitors, means picofarad capacitors because usually its value is in picofarad so this is several capacitors that we find in motherboards for computer and laptops and this one basically we find it in switch mode power supplies we call this one smd ceramic capacitors and this one we called it tht ceramic capacitor or true hall technology ceramic capacitors then we have smd fuse as you can see here why is empty because it hasn't as you can see the terminals this is its symbol as you can see here the fuse we have here three amps means the maximum current that this fuse can support is three amps as you can see then we have the voltage regulator. This is basically SMD voltage regulators with three terminals. Basically here we have four terminals, but this terminal here is connected to this one. So this is the symbol for the voltage regulators, as you can see with the input and output and of course the ground. This compound basically is used to regulate the voltage. For example, if you have in the input 12 volt, we can get here 5 volts. Or, or if we have, for example, 5 volt here in the input, we can get 3 volt, 2 volt, etc. Then we have the power jack or the DC jack. As you can see here, the DC jack could have two terminals or three terminals. Okay, so for the laptop, for example, or some HP laptops, it has basically three terminals. The ground, the positive terminal and the ID here, the ID in order to charge the battery. This is basically the symbol for a normal DC jack with two terminals. We have here the positive terminal and here the negative terminal. Then we have the inductor. You can find also this type of inductor in many motherboards. For example, here we have just this stacked inductor. This one, this one, this one, and also this two. And you can find also like this kind of inductor, as you can see. We have L. Okay. Also this, also this is another inductor. We have here PL2. 
okay but in some motherboards of course you can find also this kind of inductor especially in old laptop motherboards or in some computer motherboards then we have LEDs we have seen already LEDs SMD LEDs in the previous part that you can find in the description box and over here we have other LEDs this is basically diodes you can test it using the same working principle as testing a normal diode but we call these LEDs THT LED why because we have these terminals as you can see this is basically the symbol the same symbol as diode but we have here a circle with two arrows means emitting as you can see emitting light light emitting as you can see okay then we have switches basically here you gonna understand what is exactly the smd technology and the true hole technology or THT technology so this is basically the ACMD switch as you can see this switch is connected to motherboard to the surface of the motherboard this is surface mounted device and for this one we have terminals as you can see that is connected to holes in the motherboard this is true hole technology switch and ACMD switch then we have IC. So the third part we gonna study the IC, so the integrated circuits. We gonna basically see many kind of integrated circuits like quad inline package, dual inline package, etc. So please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one and of course for anyone who want to join me in my patreon page you are very welcome in my patreon page you can find many many schematics that you can download for free without limit and of course you will find other many useful exclusive and unique content that you can read and download as you want and of course i can for anyone who wants me as a mentor i can be your mentor if you join me as mentorship experience member in my patreon page i can be your mentor and help and assist you by solving any problem any issue you have with any laptop or computer and of course for anyone also who want to join me in the membership youtube membership you can you are very welcome thank you very much and see you in the next video with part three